within the scale I'm using. I was basically using a C minor scale. The first step in examining some peripheral notes we can add to create these kind of technical effects, let's just talk about ghost notes. I'm going to walk a simple bass line in G minor using three notes, G, A, and B flat. Simple chord notes. Those three notes are entirely on the G string. Using two fingers, with my second finger, I can ghost the D string. And then the first finger strikes my target note. I'll be ghosting on the third triplet of each beat, and then hitting on the first triplet of each beat, the note I'm targeting. technique of raking across the strings. You've also heard this in Ron Carter's bass lines. So I have this rake, G, D, B, raking across the open strings. I can just do this with a basic G, ma G major triad, G, D, B, G. Take just one motion across all four strings. I can expand this. we can be completely in control and have this shredding type effect. I tend to use this more for free jazz, avant-garde stuff, solo bass. Am I ever going to use this in the context of an actual group walking and supporting a soloist? Absolutely not. First and foremost, your primary job as a bassist is just to create solid time, to create gr grounding, and to absolutely be part of the rhythm section and create the groove and whatever is needed to be most musical. 
In terms of a soloist, some of these technique, techniques might come in handy, and for walking a bass line, definitely.